my son came to me one day. We're running camp for kids at Connor State College for the however summer. And he came and said, hey, Dad, you need to run for representative or senator. And I said, go away. I'm not interested. And that's kind of how it started. And I went from absolutely not to maybe to we decided we would do it. But it wasn't like the traditional thing. We hear so many people say, well, there's some people got together and talked me into it. Or some people got together some money in because we came up here to file. Uh, we had to go to the Ethics Commission. And the lady down there who's a doll, Marilyn, said, uh, well, who's your campaign committee chairman? You have to fill this out. And I said, well, ma'am, there's not a committee. Can, can I be that? She said, yes. And so she said, got down the treasurer. She said, well, who's the treasurer? I said, ma'am, there's not a committee. She said, well, who takes your money, the money that you have? She said, ma'am, there's no money. Can I be the treasurer? Yes. So we didn't do anything the right way politically. Um, it was not something that was long planned. We got into it very late. We were not our party's choice. So uh, no one would want to pattern themselves after the way I did it. We teach them how to show cattle, very successful. I had one of the showmanship winners here at the OIE just the other day was to come out of the camp. We had two or three of the kids that had breed champions that came from the camp. So there's a lot of motivation. There's a, those kids, and they're really good to keep me going, by the way. And even up here, they're, they're really good to continue to encourage. But my family, again, my family runs it. My wife totally works that all the time. My daughter is one of the instructors. She takes care of the recreation. One of my sons is one of the instructors in it. So it's all family, too. Uh, we had a family meeting, as we always do. My mom and dad, you see behind there. My dad was a state representative 53 years ago or so when I came. Had a family meeting, and, and we discussed it, and we voted, and it wasn't unanimous. My youngest daughter, who's now 19, voted no. And I said, nope, dad, I don't want you to go do it. But we did it, and she's one of the big reasons why I'm here. She campaigned every weekend and so many afternoons after school and did a lot of the work. And uh, young people um, got me here. We didn't have any money compared to our opponent. I think we got I spent four or five to one. We had one mail out to his ever six or seven. He put more money in the race in the last 10 days than we put in it the whole time just about. And I ran a feed yard. I worked out for Channel 8 Television in Tulsa for a while and as an on-camera personality. And, uh, I've done a lot of things I really, really enjoyed. Uh, I'm one of those, if I had it to do over again, I'd, go, I'd do so-and-so. I did everything I wanted to do. Well, I went to school at Oklahoma State University, got a master's in NSU, and I got my education out in life. I learned about cattle and livestock, mostly from running feed yards and you know, running cattle. And, uh, so agriculture was big, and, and I do enjoy kids. I mean, I, honest, I just like young people. So when I can put those two together, which we do for camps and uh, with the Be a Champ camp, uh, that's neat and that's cool. What I did before I got here was very important. I taught college and I was pretty good at it and I liked it. I guess the thing I, I, I do is try to evaluate what's right and wrong or good or bad and uh, I believe I can go home and explain the vote to the people at home and, and I've been able to do that. I'm disappointed, to be candid with you, with both sides. They get too concerned about being reelected. They always seem like they're running instead of standing and I keep telling folks, you, at some point you gotta stand and quit running. Uh, I wish they were less concerned about their parties and more concerned about just getting it done right. That's been very disappointing for me uh, since I've come up here. I did, had no idea that it would, it would be like that, that it would be so partisan and so regimented and, and so difficult to get good things done, even though I didn't come with any vision of grandeur of, well, I'm going to change the world. I, I had none of that at all. But I was disappointed. In, Discipline in the system and the way people handle their decisions and what goes into their decisions instead of just making a decision on whether it's good or bad. There's sure a lot of contaminants in it.